Terry's going to show us how to connect your Buckman horse trailer. We're here with a Big Master connecting to a Chevy Trailblazer. So at the moment we have the coupler just hovered over top of a two inch ball set on a class three hitch on this particular vehicle. We're going to show you that the indicator here says that it's on the minus. Minus means that that ball size is too small for trailering. So either the coupler ball is inside the keeper ball or it's closed in appropriately over top of your uh, two inch ball. So you always check that indicator. Now she's going to push down on the handle where it says push and lift and as she does that, that keeper ball releases out. There it is. And now we're going to just lower the coupler onto the ball by cranking the jockey wheel handle and as you crank it, it lowers itself on. It's okay if it turns and rotates slightly. Perfect. Now it's in place and it's rotated just slightly because of the alignment and you'll see now it's right on that plus. That's where you want it to be. So now we're going to continue to crank up the jockey wheel into its proper position. Terry's just holding that wheel in place so that it comes up in between the frame and the brake rod. Here we go. Position. I need to position it a little bit and it will come right up and into place. Excellent. Now we're going to put the safety chains on. It's law in Ontario and uh, likely throughout the country. You have to cross your chains underneath. And in the event that your coupler comes off, that's going to cradle the uh, coupler and it's going to pull onto your trailer. We're going to put on the breakaway cable as well. This red cable is connected to the brake. And she's just going to run it through the hook and then back onto itself. And then we're going to place the electrical in its spot. It's a flat floor electrical plug. And on this trailer and tow vehicle, we have an adapter for the round plug. And she's just going to plug it into place. Great. And that's it. That's hitching your trailer. To unhitch, you do it in the reverse. Wheels down first. So you put your jockey wheel down first. We'll just talk it through. We'll just talk it through. She's going to put down her wheel. that wheel is down on the ground, you're going to come over and you're going to press on the part that says press and you're going to lift. And we will see that this is going to lift the coupler right off the ball and Carrie can let go to show that it's going to stay open now on its own. Rotates 30 degrees each way to take the torque, and it's now off. And then you would just proceed to remove your chains and the breakaway cable and the electrical plug. And then you'll have unhitched your trailer. There's one. One chain. chain. And then the electrical will come off. Once you're connected, you would of course test your lights left, right, and brake before you roll. Make sure everything is ready to go. That's hitching and unhitching your trailer. Thank you.